to my channel in today's video I thought I would do a new budgeting series to coincide with no spend month if you don't know what no spend month is it's basically where you don't spend any money for a whole month and you I guess get out of debt or save money but I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to start a new budgeting series on my channel. So today I thought I would kick start the series with 50 insane frugal life hacks that you can implement into your life. I sat down last night and wrote a whole list and guys, I do every single one of these and you probably think some of them are really gross and you probably think some of them are genius but no judgment here on my channel and hopefully you can implement some of these if not all of them into your lifestyle to save a bit of cash and yeah if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and i thought we would jump into it because i'm just going to be reading 50 hacks and it's probably going to be a long video so i'm going to try and go through it real quick and yeah let's get into it all right so number one is scraping the jar of peanut butter until there's nothing left. Vegemite, butter, any type of spread, we do not waste in this household. We get as much bang for our buck. Number two is probably really gross and you're probably going to judge hard, but cloth toilet paper. Only for number one, so we're not going to go there with number twos. But I do cloth nappies anyway, so cloth toilet paper makes sense. I don't do it all the time, only when we're running out of toilet paper because I do not go to the shops twice, guys, in one week. If we run out of toilet paper, then we have to wait until shopping day, which means cloth wipes. So, yeah. Number three is cloth nappies, which coincides with cloth wipes anyway. Um, but we've been doing cloth nappies for two years now and it's just a great frugal way to save money. Number four is shopping your pantry first. This makes so much sense when you're on a budget because you never know what you're going to find in your pantry or your fridge and you don't want to waste any food or spend money on stuff that you already have. Number five is looking at online op shops or in-store op shops for products that you want to buy instead of buying it brand new at first. I don't always buy op shop like versions of things but if there is the opportunity to buy it for example I need a pair of Birkenstocks and they have it on my local online op shop so I'm gonna buy it on there first and I'm gonna save money and get what I want. Number six is reusing jars. We have them anyway you may as well reuse them and they can make really beautiful like pantry organization especially if they're all clear and you can get the lids the same. Mm -hmm. The next hack is not using paper towel and using reusable kitchen wipes. I just throw them in the wash and it's environmentally friendly and it saves you so much money. I never buy paper towel and I've never needed to. I think it's more like taboo to buy a paper towel in um, Australia anyway. But yeah, I know it, it's very big in America, but reusable wipes, man, they work better and they don't go all soggy and break apart. So this next hack is freezing or juicing my child's uneaten fruit. So Theo has this thing where he pulls apples out of the fridge, takes a bite and tosses them on the floor. I just pick them up, wash them and put them back in the fridge and then I juice them or I freeze them. That way my $5 organic apple doesn't go to waste and I'm saving money and I'm being resourceful with what I have. Okay, this next one is taking bottled water everywhere. We have a drink bottle and we fill it up. We have one each actually and I take it with me everywhere. That way I don't have to buy bottled water out and I don't have to buy any beverages out because I have a drink with me because I feel like in the summer especially you get so thirsty and there's nothing worse than not having a drink and I'm like no nah, I'm gonna wait until I get home before I buy one and not gonna lie I'm actually a water snob I will not drink tap water because it's gross but I bring my own and we save money okay okay no judgment on this one but I reuse my bin bag so <laughs> I have to explain Explain the situation so we have a food scraps bin we have like a rubbish bin and then we have like a recycling so with the food scraps I obviously like it has like these compostable bin bags that we use but that goes straight in but with our like general rubbish only like plastic containers really goes in there and if it's like most of the time 80% of the time it's clean plastic and if it's clean I'm gonna reuse that bag anyway if it's like got gross stuff in it which it normally doesn't because food scraps go in the food scraps bin then I will chuck it out but if it's clean I will reuse it and 
for most of the facts like I try not to use plastic bags in my bins upstairs because it's generally just like rubbish that's not gross like containers and stuff that makes sense I don't know no judgment here I reuse my scrap paper for Theo's drawings so I'm a very like hands-on drawing type of writing person I like to write hand write to do lists but then I'm like well I don't want to waste them so I try to use them like every ounce of the paper as possible and then on the back I give that scrap paper for Theo so he can do drawings or paintings and that way we're getting the most out of paper as possible okay so we most of the time use containers instead of cling wrap that way we don't have to buy cling wrap or foil or any of that because we just pop our leftovers or our like avocado or any type of food straight in a container when we go out we take containers with us it is a little bit more bulkier but i would rather do that than use cling wrap anyway and this coincides with like environmental reasons as well but when we do buy cling wrap it is like the compostable one so in summer and winter we limit our air conditioning usage or a heater usage because that can really rack up your electricity bill i only put the aircon on on really hot days or if i have clients or if like we're sick then we'll put the heater on but i try to rug up or just like wear less clothes and we do use our fans more often also downstairs like it stays quite cool anyway so it's just upstairs that's the problem but then our aircon's downstairs so it's a whole like dilemma but anyway we use fans over like the aircon so this one's like normal to me anyway because i grew up doing this but i know in other countries they don't do this but we use a clothesline instead of a dryer i don't even own a dryer because i feel like well i can hang clothes inside anyway we hang them upstairs in my bedroom because my bedroom is the hottest so they dry straight away and i put them in front of the fans so they're literally only taking like half a day to a day to dry okay so i make all of my own well not all most of my own cleaning products with vinegar and bicarb and essential oils and sometimes hydrogen peroxide and lemon and there's just a ton of like recipes on pinterest that i swear by you just have to make sure it's like furniture appropriate because some things like take better and some things don't for example we tried to use it like bicarb on our table and it like kind of stripped it but whatever i kind of like it i think i might do the whole thing because it gives it a lighter look but that's a whole other story in itself but yeah i don't buy much cleaning products i do buy washing powder because we do cloth nappies and it has like a strict washing regime regime and i buy a toilet cleaner because i'm sure i can make my own but yeah make your own in general if you can or like 80 percent of the time anything helps going back which i kind of mentioned this one in like towards the first few hacks but um if we run out of something like during the week we won't buy it until shopping day so for example if we run out of bread then we have to wait like three or four days till we get more bread or like milk or stuff like that toilet paper okay so i'm gonna like put my hands up i don't know if you do this but for example let's just use this for example i add water to products to prolong their use so if this is running out, I'll put a bit of water in it, a bit of water in my conditioner to like get like the last drops, guys. I'll put it in my, not my toothpaste. <laughs> I'll put it in my like dishwashing soap or like hand washing soap. That way I can like get more and it's literally like using every ounce of stuff from the product. This is something that our household did. We switched over from using body wash to a bar of soap because I just found that body wash went so fast in our household. We would literally go through one to two to three a month with soap. It lasts us like two months in our house, which is amazing. And I mean like I share everything with my family anyway so i don't really care some people might think it's gross but yeah we we switch over to soap and it did take a while to get used to because i literally use body wash my whole life but once i got used to it the budget mm -hmm. no judgment here but i wear clothes multiple times before i wash them unless they're like super dirty and gross but if they're like clean well like cleanish um i will reuse them like once or twice especially my jeans this not only like prolongs the life of like 
your clothes but it also like obviously helps your budget um we we reuse towels we reuse towels we don't just get a towel wipe ourselves and then throw it away we use them like three to four times before we wash them we're clean anyway so we like dry ourselves we hang the towel up and we reuse it so saves money on washing constantly and i already wash so much but if i can cut back on washing i am going to girl i am going to we don't run the dishwasher every day we probably run it every two to three days um yeah we try to like drink most of our things out of our drink but also we're not using too much cups we try to reuse cutlery and plates and stuff like that we batch cook so we don't have to constantly wash up pots and pans and yeah we use solar powered lights outside this is a great way to lighten up the area without using your electricity bill because that can rack up real quick okay you're probably gonna think i'm really like a budget here but i keep those free play packs that are given to your kids around christmas time or at restaurants you know the little ones where you get crayons and a piece of like paper and like fun stuff i keep them i have all the crayons from like 2018 that was given to us around christmas time from santa and yeah we have lots of crayons to use because of that so it means i don't have to go out and buy new crayons and those activity packs are fun guys as I mentioned before, I like to use like a lot of like handwriting stuff, handwritten, I don't know. But I try to use up all of the notepad or all of like the notebook before I buy a new one because I'm trying to like reduce wastage and reduce the cost of like budget stuff. Again, that goes with pens. I reuse my pen. Well, I use my pen until it runs out. I don't just buy pens here and there. I don't have a pen addiction, guys. Okay, so we are literally in a major drought crisis here in Australia. We have major bushfires going on. We've lost a lot of land. Pretty much the whole of Australia is on fire. Now our grass is dead. So recently I've actually been using the bath water from Theo's bath to water our grass. And I try and be really mindful and like not use products in the water so like i'll like because we've got like a shower thing this is getting deep guys we've got like a shower thing and like it's like a blow up bath and like i'll take him out wash him rinse him and then the bath water like afterwards like i'll use on my grass going back to like the whole reusing paper so i do photography as like a side business and i use paper backdrops and like Sometimes they rip or tear and I have to like cut pieces off But I actually save those pieces and make like giant maps with Theo or like giant cardboard things And we get the most out of it because like guys those things aren't cheap. They cost about $200 a backdrop So I want to make sure I get every single use out of it before I chuck that thing away Unless of course it's got cake on it and it's pretty gross then I'm gonna chuck it away because I know how much I love tea on this channel. Well, I use my tea bag like five to six times before I replace it. Same with the tea leaves. I try and get the most out of it. I don't care if it's weak as long as, as it's got like some type of flavor. But yeah, I use my tea bag multiple times before I not use it. So I like to go over to friends and family's houses or like have them over here instead of like going out to eat and stuff. So for example yesterday me and my sisters did a vision board and we made homemade pizzas at my sister's house and we saved quite a lot of money doing that and yeah I love having people over and it's just nice to like bring people into the comfort of your own home and save money because eating out can be so expensive and going out and doing stuff can be so expensive so why not have company at home uh yeah so I'm gonna put my hand up I take advantage of free fruit from Woolworths my son eats about five to six fruits per 145 minutes should we drink I'm sorry, Woolworths. I didn't mean to do it to you. Well, it is free, so may as well take advantage of it, hey. So this next one, I don't even know what we're up to, but yeah, I wrote like 50 or 51 on my list, so whatever. Um, so limit yourself to not buying like so much brand new clothing, items, adapt a little bit more of a minimalist like wardrobe. So I, I don't, I would 
rather buy quality over quantity I'm okay buying staple pieces in my wardrobe that I know is going to be interchangeable and something that I'm going to love for years on end but I don't just buy fast fashion because that's an expensive habit and I would rather not go down that route so you probably see me in the same outfit all the time it's because I do wear the same outfit all over the time and another one and it's something that I'm working on as well so I'm gonna put my hand up there and sometimes I'm really good and sometimes I'm really bad but don't impulse buy guys like it's it's a it's a bad rabbit hole to go down I know I've been there and I feel really guilty but yeah just don't do it guys try really hard restrain shop online instead of no that's impulse buying but you know what I mean like don't just like see a sale and like want to buy it only buy it if it serves your purpose if it brings you joy we're getting philosophical here yeah I don't buy cards I make my own I think it's really fun to make your own card and it's really sentimental and special but yeah I uh, I do buy secondhand cards though sometimes if I'm like on a rush but yeah I don't buy brand new cards I'm um, going with the whole like card gift thing I reuse my gift bags so for Christmas I will gift Isaac a gift bag and I will take it back because obviously he lives with me or if I receive a gift then I will reuse that gift bag for someone else okay this was like I'm like a big advocate for this. Give someone your presence instead of a present because time is short on this planet and I feel like you really need to soak up time with your family. So for example, we do the gift of time around Christmas time where it's like a family lunch and you're not allowed to bring any presents because we just want to have your presence to soak up. We don't need material items, it's pointless. I like to catch public transport not all the time but if I'm like traveling to uni which is like an hour commute anyway I would rather catch the train than drive because petrol is so expensive at the moment so yeah if I can catch the train then I'll do that um, especially like further away places we use leftover party food you get those chips they don't get eaten we put them away we eat them you get a trifle that doesn't get it. Actually, it didn't get it. But you eat it. We use the party food and we eat it for three days until it's gone. No wastage in this house. Okay, I love this one because I'm like the youngest scale of my family. But I love hand-me-downs. I'm going to use them. My sister actually just gave me all this like clothes. My other sister gave me all these hair products. I'm going to use them. I'm going to accept the hand-me-downs. And I'm going to give my hand-me-downs to my younger sister. Because that's just what you do in a big family. Or if you have cousins. Or if you have friends. You can do swapsies. Utilize the hand-me-downs, guys. Or the swapsies. I love this one because I love, like, growing a veggie patch. I really feel in control. I really feel like I'm one with nature. But not only that, I regrow my veggie scraps. So we buy organic celery. For a bunch this much, it's $8. It is ridiculous. So you know what? I did a bit of research and I'm regrowing the bulb of the celery to create a new one. Same with lettuce, bok choy, stuff like that, like rooty vegetables, onion, ginger. You can regrow them and that way like you're not spending a ton, especially if you buy organic produce. Really utilize like what you're spending and do a bit of research and you might save yourself a little bit of dollars so this is like eating out so when me and isaac go out to like a nice restaurant most of the time unless like we're both super hungry we will share a meal and we'll buy like an entree this way we're saving money when we're eating out and we still get to have like an entree or two so um following on to that we actually don't get any like drinks we'll drink well I say we'll drink table water but most of the time I'll have my own drink bottle with me so yeah don't buy drinks because I feel like drinks they really add up when you're going out especially if you're drinking like drink after drink so yeah meal plan and meal prep this is a big one this will save you so much money like guys just do it 
just do it guys just take the time out on a sunday or a monday or whatever day you have off and just cut up those extra veggies even when you're making dinner like just cut up extra and that way you have it in your fridge and make sure you eat it guys because sometimes i'm like notorious for not eating food uh i am like someone i'm a one shoe person well like probably like a three shoe person if I'm gonna be real but I have a pair of Birkenstocks that I've had for four years that I've worn every single day all of that four years unless it was like winter and I wore like boots or I went to the gym and I wore Julia's but I pretty much have one pair of shoes that I wear daily and they're ruined guys I have to buy a new pair they were a bit of an investment but it's better than buying like six pairs seven pairs ten pairs of shoes that you're like only gonna wear for a moment and then you're gonna like have in the back of your wardrobe yeah it's better to have to invest in a better quality pair of shoes and wear them multiple times throughout however long that lifespan lasts wow guys we're coming to the end of the list i feel like we've come so far in life um yeah so most of the time i like to do like beauty treatments at home so i'll do my eyebrows at home and that's pretty much the only thing um twice a year i'll go and get my eyebrows professionally done like they've actually been professionally done over christmas because i knew, normally do like december time and june that way like it can maintain the shape and then I'll like pluck it throughout the year but I don't go and get them done on like a monthly basis or however long you get eyebrows done I try and like spread the cost of beauty treatments out because it can be so expensive and there's twenty dollars here and there and a hundred dollars it all adds up take home leftovers yep so we will like eat at families and if they offer leftovers we're gonna eat it that way we don't have to cook we can eat those yummy leftovers and we're not wasting any food like i'm really like i don't like wasting food so i try to use it up as much as what i possibly can so yeah okay so try to fix something before you chuck it out so most of the time things can be fixed if you just do a little bit of research or you just like have a little bit of a fiddle with the thing <laughs> you know what I mean keeping it PG but um for example Theo's chair broke his little like white table and I tried to glue it that didn't work but what I actually did was I taped it and then I screwed it in because the whole screw thing was like just not really working it like thinned out but the tape helped keep kept it kept it in place and now we can reuse it for another like year to two years hopefully longer it's actually pretty cheap but we're going to try and get as much lifespan out of that product as possible. So I like to hand wash like intimate garments or uh, like things that can't go in the washing machine in the bath water because we're not a water wasting household over here. Again, we're in the drought so I'm trying to like use less water in areas that I can. I feel like a lot of us have at least one subscription to something like Netflix or Spotify but if you can limit your subscriptions or even share them amongst households then that's a really good way so for example we share our netflix account with isaac's parents and us and even my brother and sister um for like oh, i don't even know how long but basically we paid the account for like a year to two years and now they're paying at the account and then it will probably go back to us so in that way like we're sharing the cost okay and i'm pretty sure this is 51 but we're gonna chuck in a bonus one anyway because i was on the toilet today and i was thinking about it and i actually cut the toothpaste tube and squeeze it out until it's all gone so i can get every single ounce same with foundation or moisturizer tubes or like stuff like this. I know I've used this as an example before, but I'd literally cut it out and like scoop the contents because we want every single ounce of that product as possible. And yeah, that is 50 insane frugal hacks that I implement into my life. And maybe you can implement some of those into your life. Maybe you think some of them are weird or genius but yeah if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye guys i'll also link like a budgeting card above of the series so you can check it out because i did do like a planner 
last week to like implement the whole no spend month which is like in real time so if that's your thing definitely go check that out and yeah i'll see you in next week's video Bye.